Israeli officials saying 99% of the Iranian drones and missiles were successfully intercepted. You're taking a look at video from the IDF of the aerial defense system working, protecting Israeli airspace. Take a listen. Those sounds filling the air across Israel last night after Iran launched more than 300 munitions. President Biden meeting with his cabinet in the war room during the attack and also speaking with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, reiterating the U.S.'s total support for Israel. But now the question remains, how and when will Israel retaliate? Let's bring in News Nation's Kelly Meyer tonight. And Kelly, Iranian officials calling yesterday's attack self-defense. Yeah, Natasha and President Biden today in the Situation Room meeting with world leaders and working to de-escalate tensions in the Middle East. His message of don't to Iran didn't stop them from striking back against Israel. Tonight, Iran calling that attack self-defense. And even though the U.S. came to Israel's defense when it comes to any kind of offensive operation, a senior official telling me today the U.S. won't be participating. Tonight, the White House and the world watching for Israel's next move. We are still on high alert and assessing the situation. After Iran launched a barrage of missiles and drones targeting the country overnight. Iran calling it a response to an Israeli raid on the Iranian consulate in Syria. A senior defense official calling Iran's attack unprecedented targeting Israel with more than 300 munitions, including over 100 ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, and UAVs launched from locations in Iran, Iraq, Syria, and Yemen, the first ever direct attack on Israel from Iranian soil. Overnight, the U.S. stepping in, destroying ballistic missiles and shooting down more than 70 Iranian drones. President Biden becoming the first American president to directly defend Israel. Biden speaking with Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu shortly after the attacks. Senior administration officials confirming the president conveyed Israel came out ahead and clearly demonstrated its military superiority. Today, President Biden convening a meeting of G7 leaders all forcefully condemning the attack and debating ways to hold Iran accountable. A senior administration official saying they could designate the IRGC as a terrorist group or issue sanctions. As far as Israel's response to Iran, a senior administration official telling News Nation that the U.S. would not be participating in any offensive military action. President Biden trying to keep his goal of keeping the conflict from widening. The president has been very clear, publicly so. Uh, we don't seek a war with Iran. We don't seek an escalated uh, re uh, tensions in the region. We don't, we don't seek a wider conflict. And everything he's been doing, literally since the 7th of October, uh, has been designed to, to that outcome. A senior administration official adding, quote, no one wants to run up the escalation ladder here. And as far as what this means for negotiations on the hostage release deal, Hamas turned down a proposed ceasefire deal following Iran's attack. A senior administration official telling us today Hamas has been trying to ignite a regional war. The U.S. hoping to keep this war from escalating any further. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.